What do you got? GE, I notice, is going to replace an important executive. You know David Joyce has been there for 40 years, David. I had no idea he'd been running aviation or been in aviation for that long. That's an incredible amount of service and uh, done a great job. Vice chair of GE, president and CEO of GE Aviation. John Slattery comes in. Now, David, he's from Embraer. He's an outsider, all right? Uh, he also worked in the lesser division, uh, 51, uh, 51 years old. And I've got to tell you, 15 years in aircraft financing could really help. This is a change, uh, someone from the outside. And this division has been the crown jewel, obviously, because of all the problems with, uh, with Boeing. It, it's been stalled. But I think this is an important change. It, uh, this is a sign, once again, that Larry Culp stamping his uh, brand on all of the different divisions. He did tell me this morning, business remains challenging. That's the word he's been using. That's a consistent word, yep. challenging. And how could it not be? I do think that this uh, uh, going toward wind and away from that gas that's occurring is very much going to help Larry, but obviously wind's uh, multiples, not uh, the, they just don't make that much money on wind. But I think he's making his changes, doing his thing. Uh, there are not many people on Wall Street who want to get behind him right here. Uh, but I think that's because of problems at Boeing, not necessarily because of problems of him. Right. Listen, like, well, like so many companies, of course, that came into this year with expectations that have differed dramatically, GEs amongst them, Jim, uh, this was going to be a transition year, perhaps one in which you could start talking about growth again. Right. Uh, obviously, that's off the table for GE. Yeah, now that's what I was doing at the beginning of the year because I, I just uh, underestimated the problems with the 737 MAX. Well, I, by the way, I don't think anyone uh, I saw the 737 MAX just going to be on hold, but also obviously COVID. You know, seeing COVID, you had to be a pretty much of a visionary to see COVID.